जय हिंद एवरी वन माई सेल्फ शालिनी गोयल फ्रॉम सरदार पटेल सुभारती इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ लॉ स्वामी विवेकानंद सुभारती यूनिवर्सिटी मेरठ इज गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड लॉ एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज ट्रेब्स और वी कैन से ट्रेड रिलेटेड आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इंटलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी ट्रेब्स एज इट इज वेरी क्लियर दैट इट कंटेन्स द प्रोविजन रिलेटेड टू द इंटलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी एनी प्रॉपर्टी अ प्रॉपर्टी विच इज गेन्ड बाय द पर्सन बाय यूजिंग हिज इंटलेक्ट और बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ हिज माइंड इट मे बी अ कॉपी राइट इट मे बी अ ट्रेडमार्क और इट मे बी अ पेटेंट और वी कैन से इट मे बी अ जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन और द प्लांट्स वराइटी नाउ एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ट्रिप्स this agreement came into existence in 1994 during the eighth negotiation round of gat and that round is known as the uruguay round and this act this agreement enforced with the enforcement of the world trade organization or we can say the trips agreement enforced from 1st january 1995 and when we talk about the lifetime of the agreement this agreement is not having any type of expiration or we can say it's continuously going on this agreement containing num uh, various articles and the total number of the articles are 72 and this act is divided into seven parts as i told you learners the agreement is based on the intellectual property so we can say or i want to say that it is one of the most comprehensive multilateral agreement which is based on the intellectual property as intellectual property it covers various aspects like copyrights and related rights and when we talks about the related rights the rights of performers the rights of producers of sound recordings and broadcasting organizations apart from it it also covers the trademarks including service marks geographical indications which includes in itself application of origin and industrial design patents including the protection of new varieties of plants the layout designs of integrated circuit and last one is undisclosed information including trade secrets and test data now what are the main features of this agreement the trips or the trade related aspects of intellectual property rights tells us about three features such as standards enforcement and dispute settlement as i told you there are three features standard what is the meaning of standard it is an obligation all the members of the trip that they will maintain the minimum standard of protection and they will provide all the standard of protection to the member countries main element of uh, protection is defined namely the subject matter must be protected the rights to be conferred and permissible exceptions to those rights and the minimum duration of protection and all these are falling in the category of standard apart from it the paris convention for the protection of industrial property is uh, also putting an substantive obligation upon the members regarding the maintenance of standards further if we talk about the enforcement the second main set of provisions deals with the domestic producers and remedies for the enforcement of intellectual property rights the agreement lays down certain general principles applicable to all ipr enforcement procedure in addition this agreement contains provisions on civil and administrative procedures and remedies provisional measures special requirements related to border measures and criminal measures here i talk about the border measures border measures means when two parties are doing the trade by crossing the border of any country as i told you criminal procedures which specify in a certain amount of detail and procedures and remedies which must be available so that right holders can effectively enforce their rights third is 
dispute settlement it is one of the import, important part of this agreement if there is any dispute related to the intellectual property the world trade organization is having the rights to dispute or to settle the dispute by the help of council for the trade related to intellectual property furthermore if we talks about the other parts of this agreement this agreement also provides certain basic principles like national treatment as well as the most favored nation treatment and some other general rules to ensure that procedural difficulties in acquiring or maintaining iprs do not nullify the substantive benefits which should flow from the agreement the obligations under the agreement will apply equally to all member countries but developing countries will have a longer period to face them in the trips agreement is a minimum standards agreement which allows members to provide more extensive protection of intellectual property if they so wish if we talks about the provisions of this agreement article 3 4 and 5 includes the fundamental rules on national and most favored nation treatments of foreigner foreign nationals and you all are well aware what is the meaning of national treatment as well as the most favored nation what is the main goal of this agreement or the trips agreement the preamble of the agreement reproduces the basic uruguay round negotiation objectives established in the trips by the 1986 fanta del este declaration and the 1988-89 mid term review these objectives include the reduction of distortion and impediation to international trade promotion of effective and adequate protection of intellectual property rights and ensuring that measures and procedures to enforce intellectual property rights do not themselves become barriers to legitimate trade and when we go through the article 7 it tells us about the objectives of the trips learners for today i am ending my lecture at here we will continue in my in our next lecture on the trips thank you jai